Hi, this video is for all Tauruses for the month of January 2015. I apologize for the late uploads. I've been busy dealing with some stuff. Um, this is going to be shorter videos. Um, uh, for those of you that are new, I do a... Usually it's a five card spread, but uh, I do one card in the overall position of the week and one for the energy of the month. And I place out an extra card to either help me uh, tell me what's either what's helping you or blocking you. It just gives me a little more information. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, pulled out some angel cards here just to give me a little more clarification because you guys have the devil card here. And I find those cards to be quite informative. Uh, hopefully they'll help you guys out. They're more for you than me. I'll read those at the end. Um, so let's get on here. And don't mind my nails, please. <laughs> Haven't had time to redo them. So, for your overall energy, for the rest of January, we have the Ace of Wands. And Aces represent new beginnings. So, new beginnings and passions. Um, matters of the heart, because of the red, as well. It could be a matter of a heart. Um, but it's a new beginning in passions. Um... There's a lot of orange here, and you have the devil crossing it. Um, the devil is not always a bad thing, um, but the negative of it, of it, if it is representing you, um, it could be addictions. Addictions come in many forms, uh, foods, thoughts, overeating, um, negative thinking, um, could be depression as well. Um, could be things being done to you, mental abuse, um, whether you're doing that to yourself as well, an environment that you're in is unhealthy, um, drug addictions, drinking too much. Um, the positive of this is, um, out with the old, in with the new. And that is actually one of your, your cards up here too. Um, it's removing the negative. A lot of fire though. Maybe some of you guys have, um, or it could be saying, I, I'm not sure uh, of much astrology that's happening this month, but maybe something with fire um, happening. But um, Ace of Wands is, as I said, new beginnings. It's a new venture or way of life. It can also mean you hear of a pregnancy. Maybe some of you were trying to get pregnant and couldn't. Um, it will happen. You got the strength card here, just, and you see with the kids here so for some of you and keep in mind this is a, a general reading so it may not apply to all of you the card crossing that is the devil manipulation overindulgence so there's something negative that's that you need to get rid of and it could be passion whether, whether it could mean you have an ex that came back six of cups can represent um, a past lover if it is doing with passion um, or you could just be looking back at a relationship remembering the good times you have the ace of cups here which is new beginnings emotionally too there's something negative it could be somebody doing this to you and you need to get remove that relationship or this past lover remove that remove negative self-doubt you're remembering better times it could also mean too the six of cups is Happiness from the past, old friends, an old love renewed. Maybe you and um, a lover actually work things out uh, when you realize that you can move on and get rid of those negative things that are af affecting you guys um, if you decide to make a move together. Or if you guys just sit back and talk about because you have 
uh, the Knight of Swords here crossing it. So it's a sort of truth cutting through the truth. Maybe you guys are realizing you're not good together. Or m maybe you're realizing that you did have better times and you can work things out if you cut through this, whatever it, this negative is. And you can have a new beginning even with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups here. Where it can mean that you two just need to to split. It could be a sibling. Um, this card can also mean a sibling. It can it can also mean family, close friendship. This sort of truth. This could be a person coming in and cutting through matters. Um, Knight of Swords is usually an air sign. Um, could be male or female. Doesn't have to be male. Um, usually a person though could be one of you if you are a couple coming in and cutting through the truth and this guy comes fast he yells charge and when he comes in he's cutting heads off so he's gonna cut right through this so um, if this is you don't don't manipulate or lie because this guy and he's he's a knight so he's still learning so he, it could be a little messy um, I don't mean to laugh, but, I mean, I've been this Knight of Sword before. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've left the mess, you know? It's like the bulldozer in the rake. So just, just be careful. Um, if this is you, and it's the other person, um, just be careful, you know? Look where you're pointing your sword. Um, I'm a hand talker, I get that from my mom, she's Portuguese, and when she's got, like, a fork in her hand... <laughs> She can actually jab you, and all she's doing is talking. Or, so just just be careful where you point that. Um, Knight of Swords. It's swift movement. Quick-minded. It's a serious young man. This could be a new person coming into your life. Uh, a young woman or a man. Uh air sign, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, yeah, it could be, an, I, can, I do see a new beginning though, so if it's, if it's re, this is related to a person, um, you can have a new beginning, maybe not now, but down the road if you guys do split. Um, you know, sometimes you guys need to separate and, and do your own thing and then come back together because there's other lessons that you have to learn before you can be together. Um, I try to leave on good terms if you are leaving this friend. Just know that, you know, you got to remove that negative. you got to make room for the good. And you have new beginnings here emotionally with passion. And you need strength to do this. Um, tame that inner beast. It could be telling you if you've been partying a lot with the holidays. Uh, you can also be stubborn, Taurus. You guys can be stubborn sometimes. Um, but if this is you, you're being stubborn because you you want a new beginning and maybe unconsciously you don't realize that, so you're self-sabotaging. Um, sometimes we do that. And I mean, if you are, now you know, at least, and if you don't know, um, because I said that, uh, unconsciously, you're going to be self-aware and question it, so there you go. Um, with the strength card, gentleness with inner strength and courage, you could have to have courage to kick a habit, smoking even, you know, kick that negative thinking habit, um, admit when you're wrong. Taurus, you guys um, are fixed. You may have a hard time um, admitting when you're wrong. And it takes a bigger person to admit when they're wrong than um, to pretend like they're not. You're only f fooling yourself. You're not fooling anybody else. Um, or that other person could be doing that, right? Um, it could go two ways. Ace of Cups, um, you're, you're protected, you're being watched, so whatever negative is um, happening or being removed from your life, um, or the negative that is happening, is happening for a reason, uh, it's to push you along, 
um, make you stronger. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, for some Tauruses, I see you guys actually having um, reconnections with old friends and um, maybe it's reigniting the passion that you used to have, you know? Remembering the, who you were and what you wanted to be and maybe you, you've realized you're off track because of bad habits and um, yeah, you did want to be a doctor or yeah, you did want to teach or uh, be an inventor um, and you can take community classes <clears throat> even try something new with a friend, you know, go out and have a good time with a friend have a drink <laughs> not too much though Okay, don't get carried away. That's the devil's telling you. Um, these new beginnings, the eye, you're being watched by spirit. I can say that. Um, yeah, that's kind of all I'm getting through the cards. You're being, you're gonna, you're being offered something. Um, so if somebody's leaving. It, you're being offered a new beginning. Um, if you do work things out, it's a new beginning this person can offer you. But this needs to be uh, taken care of. Or it could just mean this person has a lot of Capricorn. Um, for the cards that I've got, um, I'm just going to read the messages on the cards. It says, you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. And if you look at this card, it, the guy's kind of going, who, me? <laughs> so I think I think this is talking about you. I, I don't know why, I just get that image. And the other card that popped out, it's out with the old, in with the new. And if you see the angels protecting the little girl, kind of pushing him along on a branch. So you're being guided. You think you're going to fall, but you're not. You're being guided. Uh, if you don't believe in angels, you change that for the universe or whatever form of creation you believe in. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and you feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire and spiritual truths. And it's number seven. So look up the numerology meaning for number seven. I think that has some significance for you guys. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you guys out, um, I'll try to have my February videos out in a few days, um, until then, um, have a good month.